1913, private offshore banks were able to get a beachhead and take control of our money supply. And then they bankrupted the country artificially, put us into emergency receivership with the uh, emergency acts they put in in 1933, the War Powers Act that Roosevelt put into place. And then in 1947, the National Security Act, that whole shadow banking system was able to be given total government power and immunity above the law. Basically, diplomatic immunity and secrecy. So that really marks a major milestone in our road to tyranny. And then from there, it just gets worse and worse. And Congress does nothing and plays like they're stupid because they've been paid off. Just like Congress comes out and says, we don't want to go to briefings. We don't want to know about the NSA. Because the predecessors voted this treason uh, into place. And most of them are blackmailed. Most of the Republicans and Democrats on record, and that's why it's always coming out, the scams they're involved in, the fraud, the weird sexual stuff, they are identified by the power structure as being corrupt, and they are immediately promoted to the top. And any FBI agent, any CIA person will tell you that when they start going on field operations, first it'll be, here's some high-class, you know, high-dollar hookers, have sex with them. And if you don't have sex with them, you're never move past a desk job or, or you're never you know, move past basically low level uh, duties. And then if you have sex with the hookers, then it moves up to take some stolen goods. Just like they tried to corrupt Serpico in the New York detectives uh, office. And I've had Serpico on, we've said, you know, how many of the other police were corrupt? And he goes in the detective narcotics units, all of them. And then they shot him in the face over it. And only our naivete allows this to continue. Only, only letting drugs be illegal. They've had Northern European countries legalize drugs. In most cases, drug use goes down by over half, always over a third. And they put up billboards showing how pathetic drug addicts are. But see, the globalists have already taken over there, so why should they even bring in drugs and sell them? They've already got full control and you know, 75, 80% tax rates in places like Denmark. So why should they even let people ship drugs in and then have it illegal? So I guess that's one good thing. Once we're fully captured by the globalists, they'll, they'll, they'll illegalize the drugs and we can stop all this craziness. But I'd rather stop it now. How many drug dealers are on record going public? In my film, Kevin Booth's American Drug War film, uh, you know, he interviews drug dealers who say, no, we don't want drugs decriminalized. And then they get Christian conservatives to say they should be illegal so the government can ship them in for big banks that get the money and get to launder it. This, these are the points I'm getting at here. And then they've got people driving around Austin, Texas with bumper stickers saying, I pay carbon credits to this group. And I go look up the group and it's either Al Gore's group or the Rothschild group or the Clinton Obama group. There's only five different major carbon exchanges. And then you find out that all these corrupt globalist authoritarian mobsters are being paid money on coal, on oil, on plastic. But then people volunteer to have special credit cards that they swipe that send money like an indulgence. Like, you know, when the Pope said, get your family out of hell or out of purgatory, you know, send me, you know, send me money. It, it, it's kind of like that in the old days. And you go pay Al Gore or the Rothschilds or the Rockefellers money. So you feel good about using your car. It's just crazy. Loving to be suckers. Nothing to do with the environment. I mean, here's one in the Weekly Standard. White House climate advisor, a war on coal is exactly what's needed. We can queue up the clip of Obama saying we will bankrupt coal. You can build a coal plant, but we will bankrupt you. And they're doing that to shut down our industry. They're not calling for China to stop building three of them a week as they shut down more than three of them a week here, and as your power prices go up. I mean, I know I harp on this. It's just they are gutting America right now because they are an enemy globalist group that hates the fact that we still have guns and still have a, 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 a memory of freedom. They want to extinguish that forever. Just like Stalin would collectivize all the farms in Ukraine to break everybody over a decade. Your calls are coming up at 800-259-9231. First-time callers, folks, today. 800-259-9231. You've got to realize an enemy force has taken over, 
and is waging war on us if we have any hope to ever turn this around. America is captured. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.